Part C requires a little more thought. Um, given that exactly one of the two events occurs, calculate the probability that A occurs. Or if we say that given that exactly one of the two events occurs, we'll call event B. And the probability that A occurs, we'll call event A. This is a use of a Bayes' theorem. Uh, probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A and B over the probability of B. Well, the probability of event B was calculated in the previous question. We found that to be the uh, probability of 0 0.35, exactly one of the two events occurring. The probability of A and B is in fact the probability that A occurs and one of the two occurs. Now, if we think about this carefully, A occurring and one of the two occur occurring must actually just be A occurs. That satisfies both elements there. So what we actually have now is probability of A over the probability of event B. In the previous question, we calculated that A occurring by itself was actually 0 0.15. That was probably it of a n b dash. Also in the previous question, we worked out that the probability that exactly one of the two events occurred is 0 0.35. That gives us an overall probability of 3 sevenths.